today's scrap of project we're going to take this motor off this deck and tear it apart the 4.5 Bowens first thing we got to do is we got to drain the oil there's a plug right here you just take a regular ratchet you put it in there and take that loose most everyone knows but in case you don't know I'm going to remove this blade first it's a 5 inch socket Oh. Alright, I, I didn't figure it was going to come off too easy. I usually don't. Yep, man, it's no good. don't have much power. There we go. Now we got that out of our way. Let's take your 3 8 socket. This drain plug. in there there's probably still a little bit of oil in there now we have three bolts under here that's half inch that we're going to have to remove oh, that's good that's loose looks pretty, pretty pretty oily so one good thing about it if it leaks oil it's going to be easy to take off sometimes these are not too easy Runs good. This motor actually runs. I don't know where you could sell these motors. I know the, the bigger 12 horsepower, 16 horsepower, I know somebody to buy those. These small motors like this, I have no idea. I got like about eight of them. It's got about three or four push motors. The motors run. Got plenty for backup. I got a couple power washers that the motor run. This one I've been stealing parts off of it. deck out of here. I don't think I need 10 or 12 motors. What am I going to do with them? Nobody's going to buy these kind of motors. Not that I know. I'm going to clean some of this grease off of here and I'll get right back to you. I already moved this top. just wanted to show you there's two Phillips. going to remove them first. Once you get underneath there, there's three 5 16 bolts. Got to remove those. Of course. Why would I think it's going to work? Got to stop thinking that. It's not an impact. Let me break them loose first. There's one on the side here also. You got one three eighths. Mm. 
Now we can get rid of that. We'll keep working on the top. I take this recoil cover off. Got these two in the front of this recoil cover. It's three eighths. Break those loose. I got five sixteenths on the top of this filler too. To Got two on the top of where they're attached to the head. They're three eighths. Got two bolts holding the coil in at a quarter inch. Also the tube that the gas goes in, that's quarter inch too. We'll break those loose also. I guess you'd call it the gas tube inlet, I would assume. It used to be aluminum, now it's plastic. Next we're going to get the flywheel off. It's just 24 millimeter, but I believe it's 15 sixteenths in standard. And I have to have something to hold the flywheel from spinning. I guess you could probably do that if you left the blade on. I wanted to get it off the deck though. Now we got some more quarter inch screws on this apparatus here. Not for sure exactly what that's some kind of oil journal I think. Have to remove this 3 8 bolt from this governor. Get this governor arm out of here. Now we're going to take the muffler off. Got these little tabs right here. You got to bend them back before you get these bolts out of here. 7 16 A couple of 3 8 bolts to remove up this valve plate. Now we have a quarter inch bolt in this heat shield. We have to remove that to get the shield off of here. Now we're going to remove the spark plug. 21 millimeter or 13 sixteenths. Next is the head bolts. Half inch. We're gonna have to break them loose first, I'm sure. That one's loose. I can see why it didn't run too good. Not even tight.
Now I gotta try to remove this piece that holds the blade. Most of the time, them get seized on there. We got lucky on this one. Now we can remove this bottom plate off this motor. The Marie H bolts. I'm going to remove this oil plug also. Should be able to remove this camshaft and this mechanisms in here. Be able to get this governor arm out of there. There we go. All right, we got that out. Looks like we still got a bolt here in one of these plates. Three eighths. Some kind of shield. Got one we missed. I'm going to try to get that connecting rod out of there. That's probably 5 sixteenths. Now we gotta remove these valve springs. These could be a little tricky. I'll try not to get in the way so you can see. I don't know if it's possible. Alright, there's a little slot in that. You see this groove here? Then you're going to know which way you got to move it. Find that groove, and you're going to have to push in on the opposite side. Okay, here's our groove. I'm going to turn it 180 degrees. There we go. That's the exhaust valve. That's going to be a little sticky. Then we got this end seal to knock out of here. Little pins, we got to get them out of there too. Now we got the piston. Piston's got a little keeper in here holding this pin. Gonna have to get that out of there first. Flip it over. It should come right out of there. Remove the rings from the piston. Want to be careful with these, they can cut you pretty easy. Just go slow, it'll be all right. Now 
glass flywheel. If you want to recover aluminum, you're going to have to bust these magnets out of there. They're not going to like that. I mean, it depends on the junkyard. When I go to, they're not going to like it. Here's all the components to the lawnmower motor. Let's weigh it up. 10 pounds of steel. 9 pounds of aluminum. These are the remaining components that I did not recover valuable metals from because I can use these parts. 